Right guys, so as you can probably tell I'm quite sweaty because it's quite warm. Um, <clears throat> one second. Now, as you may know, I don't tend to do a lot of random videos. I tend to do a lot of series, which uh, I'm going to try and stop. I'm going to try and do more random ones that don't really have any relevance to much. Just They're just random. Um, but so we're gonna start off with that um anyway so as you may know with hot weather if you get a lot of it for a long period of time you tend to get thunderstorms um yesterday well last night actually we had this going on for about three weeks not three weeks what three hours Um, it was quite a sight to behold. That lightning strike was actually the only one I managed to see. So um, all the others were like, above the clouds and everything. You can't really see them. Um, so as a whatever, you know, because you know, random. Um, we're going to be watching some lightning strikes. Top ten lightning strikes, in fact. Um, so let's have a look at these and see where these are. These are probably scattered around the world and I've only got one bar, so let's go. Lightning can manifest itself in many dramatic and beautiful ways. From spectacular anvil crawlers to extremely powerful bolts that leap miles away from the storm. I've been chasing lightning for 20 years and here are my top 10 best lightning strike captures. Number 10 was caught this year on a Kansas interstate. Looking back in slow-mo, you can see the distant discharge triggering the closer strike. I'd wager this trucker probably got brown all over his pants after spilling his coffee. Number 9 was bagged under a tornado supercell near Lincoln, Nebraska. Lightning was crashing all over the place, but what makes this bolt so striking was its bizarre looping path. Number 8 occurred on May 31st, 2013 near Elrina, Oklahoma. This historic and horrifying wow. day saw the birth of the world's largest tornado at 2.6 miles wide. Jesus. And the fact that there's a bolt of fire shooting out of its massive infant side makes this strike worthy of this list. If that's number eight, you the don't heck have to is close number to one. strike to get a great shot. In fact, many of my favorites have been captured from miles away. In these snags, it's another beautiful element, like a rainbow or the wild colors of a desert sunset that make them extra spectacular. Number seven was summoned over Devil's Tower. It took me 300 tries before this storm finally served up the wicked goods. Ooh. Amble crawler lightning. Wow. Also called spider lightning, due to the way it scampers across the sky, is one of nature's most dramatic displays. I've photographed hundreds of animal crawler webs, but only once lurking over an old paralyzed 1956 Mercury. That's why this snag is number six on the list. Number five, four, and three all come from one intense evening. In June of 2010, a violent storm in North Texas was bombarding the earth with constant bolts of positive lightning. When the strikes are slowed down, you can really see individual flashes that make lightning flicker. It's this super long mega bolt and it's 14 separate flashes that scores number five on my favorites. Positive lightning is the most deadly of the bolts. They leap from the tops of thunderstorms out to the ground up to 10 miles away. Wow. To complete this stealthy journey, they can generate a billion volts. Plus, when these daddies fire, they can heat the air to over 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's over five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Because of their tendency to leap away from rain and to low storm clouds, they're extra photogenic. And on this day, there was so much positive lightning crashing all over the place that my chances of getting that super close high-res photo I've always dreamed of was within grasp. Okay. One. As were my chances of becoming another charred toad on the side of the road. Either way, something inevitable was about to occur. Boom. Two positive flash discharges, forking to the ground in four locations, and then a 
one in a million shot of a bolt crashing into earth with a rare, clear capture of something called an upward streamer sparking up from the ground. Lightning is not concerned about striking in your frame or being photographed at all, but every now and then she feels down to earth, turns to the camera, and strikes a killer pose. Here's number two again. All right, let's get to number one. June 16th, 2014 in Northeast Nebraska. Two tornadoes are on the ground. The skinny Jesus. one on the left is blazing a trail towards its chubby sister on the right. And as if this wasn't already epic enough. And one more time. Boom. Blows my mind every time I see that. Well, guys, thanks for watching and liking my videos. If you have any questions about lighting or photography, shoot them on over in the comments. If you're going to go out chasing lightning, remember that if you can hear lightning, you're close enough to be struck. So always carry a good set of earplugs with you. Until next time. Well then, there you go. If you're going to go lightning, whatever, chasing, whatever it's called, wear some earplugs. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Like I said, it's a random one. I'm going to do some more random ones. It's not going to become a series. It is going to have a section on the channel, um, but it's not going to be a series. It's literally this, The section is literally it's just going to be random crap. I might even name it that. It's going to be called Random Crap. Because it literally is. It's just going to be random rubbish. That I think interesting. Or that something might happen. Like the lightning yesterday. And it inspires a video. I don't know. But anyway. Before the video. Uh, before the camera dies. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like. Comment. Subscribe. And peace.